Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video I want to talk to you about the Xilinx C1100. I believe it's called the Varum, the Xilinx Varum C1100, but really dense packaging for such a small card, no bigger than a 3060 or 3060 Ti, you know, dual fan. Uh, obviously, you've got your connections on the I.O. here, including what's very important for mining, your micro SD or your micro USB connection right there. Um, this you won't be utilizing at all for mine. It's more for data centers and stuff like that. But look at this packaging. We got some connectors up top. Right. And look at that cooler. You can see some of how the air kind of like flows out of this particular packaging is all coming out towards the top away from the PCIe slot because there's no openings at the bottom of the PCIe slot. I do have an upgraded cooler coming uh, from Osprey that we're going to be swapping out. This is metal up top and then there is a metal back plate. Uh, additional information right there. You can see my greasy ass fingerprints all over it. Um, but then you can see all the transistors and connectors and why this back plate has to be designed the way it is to fit over those guys. There's only a few screws too. We got, looks like three main screws holding onto the core. Then we got a couple over here by the IO and a couple towards the back to take off the cooler. And then obviously we'll do a teardown video once the Osprey cooler actually comes in, but really cool card. Um, it's an FPJ has an eight pin connector on it with the Osprey cooler. We're going to have a, uh, some more connections that we're going to need to hook up, uh, in order to cool this bad boy. Uh, but, uh, there is a, there was a team red minor one where you would push air through this fin stack right here, as you can see to keep the car nice and cool. Uh, but we don't have that. We're going to be upgrading the cooler to look like a regular GPU, um, overall dual slot design and we're going to get hashing away with it and i'll take you along with me on that journey uh looks like the thermal pads on some of this is about one mil thick and then some of them are 0.5 mil we have thermal pads already here uh from gp risers uh that we've been you know had a surplus supply of so we should be good to replace any thermal pads if need be otherwise the osprey cooler should have everything we need uh, I might replace a stock thermal paste that comes on it with some Cryonaut Extreme because that doesn't cure and it lasts a long time and it will be ready for sub ambient or exotic cooling if need be, but I'm not going to venture into that ar arena. So yeah, this is the Xilinx C1100. A lot of oomph in a small package. It actually cost me $1,600. Um, there's a story behind that if you haven't checked that out. But, uh, you know, while I was forced into a decision uh, that I didn't want to make at the time, it was definitely a blessing. And I couldn't thank uh, my colleagues for helping me make that decision or, you know, kind of edging me into go ahead and grabbing one. Because as crypto continues to pick up, uh, obviously hardware becomes harder to get your hands on and more expensive. So that's all I got for you today. Just a quick look at the overall packaging and design of the C1100. Um, you got your J37 connector, and I believe this is called the U... I don't know what this one is called. Um, this is where your your reading data, not writing data, all your writing and everything you're going to do for mining is going to be right here, like bitch streams and stuff. Uh, so you won't really use these connections unless you're properly using what this FPJ was really intended for. But that's the packaging. Simple design. Heat sink, not too thick, but very dense. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do me a favor. Hit the like button on the way out. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out some of the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you next one. Take care.